Okay, in this video, we're going to look at uh, laws of logarithms. Uh, so, laws of logarithms are also called properties uh, of uh, logarithms. Um, we're going to look at uh, four of them. Um, so, given that x, uh, y, and uh, b uh, are, are all positive, uh, then we have that uh, log of x, y is equal to log of x plus log of y. We're actually going to prove this one um, below. And then uh, log of x divided by y is log of x minus log of y. And then log of x to the power n is n times log of x. And then log of x divided by log of y is equal to log of x base y uh, this one is called uh, the change of base property um, now you're going to notice that uh, these have got some parallels between them and uh, the what you call laws of indices so for the, for the first one for instance you might uh, remember that uh, a to the power m times a to the power n yeah, is equal to a to the power m plus n. So you can see what's happening here. Uh, we have got multiplication this side, and then the indices we add. So the same thing here, we've got addition this side and multiplication this side and then uh, there's a similar uh, relationship with the one where we are dividing all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to prove uh, the the first one um, so proof of uh, the first property so to prove that first one um, what we're going to do is we're going to let uh, u be equal to the logarithm of x to base b we're going to let v be the logarithm of y to base b and then um, this if we write in exponential form it says b to the power u must be equal to x this one is saying b to the power v must be equal to y um, then from here if we multiply x and y then there's going to be b to the power of u times b to the power of v uh, but then uh, we in order for us to do this, we add the indices. So that's b to the power u plus v. And then if we rewrite this now in log form, okay, it's going to be log of. Now remember the log is always the uh, power. So the power here is uh, u plus v. The base is v is b so that is going to go there and then uh, x y goes there so um x y equals to b to the power u plus v um if you write it in log form the same as log x y um is equal to u plus v however u is log x and uh, v is log y uh, from where we started and so this is now the same as uh, the uh, the first property okay um, then for property number two we're not going to prove this we're just going to uh, use a numerical example to demonstrate it um, so according to property number uh, two um we should have that log of 32 
divided by 8 this is the base 2 it must be equal to log of 32 minus log of 8 okay so what we're going to do is uh, first of all we're going to work from the left hand side now 32 over 8 is 4 so this works out to 4 and then um, 4 is 2 squared uh, so that means the log 2 to the power 2 base 2 is just going to be 2 then from the right hand side uh, log of 32 to base 2 minus log of 8 log of 32 to base 2 is saying to what power should we raise 2 to get 32 and that power is going to be 5 this one is saying to what power should we raise 2 to get 8 and that power is 3 and so that is going to give us uh, 2 all right so these are the um these are the properties of logarithms then which are in the next uh, several videos we shall use to uh, make calculations involving logarithms before we uh, end uh, this video just uh, want to make a note about a common mistake that uh, most students fall for uh, which is uh, to say that uh, log of x plus y is log of x plus log of y um, this is not true this is not um, equal in fact from the first property we can see that uh, log of x plus log of y is actually log of x, log x y so log of x plus y we don't have a property by which we can simplify it all right thank you for watching